Hello, I am Cat Woods and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to share what I'm going to use for the new year. Um, I know a lot of you have been asking for planner videos. You've been wanting me to share what I'm doing, what I'm using. And to be honest, this whole year I haven't touched a planner at all. I just, I didn't have the time. I couldn't bring, um, I moved two different times this year. And the other place when we were temporarily rehoused, it was way smaller than what I am used to here. <laughs> we went from a three bedroom condo to a little one bedroom. So it, it was it was not fun. And I couldn't have any of my crafting stuff out with me. So there was just a, a planner was not going to happen. Um, I just I just used my Bibles, that was it. But a sweet, amazing, one of my spiritual mothers sent me a planner, and I have already did a blessings video, an opening of it, or a review, however you want to say it. This came the day after I uploaded the video. So it was supposed to come together, but for some reason it was two separate boxes. So she also got me a pin case which matches the planner. I love these colors. You can use it all year round. I really, really, really love it. I feel, I feel like I'm gonna to have to take a lint roller to it a lot because this material, it's gonna collect some kitty hair. So <laughs> that's the only downfall with this. But I put all the washi tapes and a little bit of stickers that I'm going to use. These are Kell of Plan stickers. Heather, I mean, these are Heather's, uh, yeah, washi tapes. So I shared all of that. This is the planner. So, and like I said, a lot of you have been wanting these, you know, the planner videos. But I just, it was just too much. I, I don't have one. I don't, I don't have enough supplies to go between my Bible and my planners and my journals. Like I just... I have a lot, but there's just certain things I want to use for my Bibles, and I don't want to put it in a planner. And then I will get on a kick to where I put it all my purdies in the planner, and after that month is over, I'm like, why? Why did I just use that cute sticker in that planner, and I'm never going to look at it ever again when I could have put it in my Bible? So I go, I go back and forth <laughs> between like, no, I used it in the wrong area. But because I know a lot of you have been wanting to see these videos, I figured, go ahead. Oh, and another thing that stops me from using it, the main, main thing is time. I spend a lot of time in my Bible, so I don't have no extra time for uh, a planner. Like decorating a planner is just not going to happen. So if you're like me and you love the planner idea, um, but you just don't have the time for it, set out a day. This took me, from the amount that I did, this literally took me a week and a half of <laughs> time only spent on this. A week and a half. That's a lot of time. Take it away from my Bible, but, and put on, put into my, my planner time. But it, it's going to be worth it because, well, you'll see. All right. So we're just going to hop on in. I decorated the front page of it and I'm not going to use it. You can't use it until, you know, January of next year. So I pre-decorated all of this and I pre-decorated it until September. So I got like six months, well, way more than six months, but six months already pre-decorated. So when I come to use it, I don't have to worry about anything. I just have to fill it out. So that right there is going to be an encouragement for me to one, pull out the book and I don't have to stress out like, man, okay, I got to open up the, you know, month. Let's, let's come to the month and then I'm going to have, let me go to a blank one here. <laughs> Let's not cheat. Okay. So I have to open up the month. It's blank. I'm going to have to fill in the dates. I'm going to have to um, figure out what's going to be for those months, the appointments, all of that. 
it looks really bland. I want it to look beautiful, so I'd have to come here and decorate it. That's just the month. That's the overview month. Then every single week, you have to decorate it. You have to add in. Even if you say, I want to go very simple, even if you even if you go through that, you still have to come out come up with a layout for a very simple layout. So it's just every week you have to do that. Even if you do a whole month, I mean you still it still takes time to think of it, come up with ideas. So that that was the main thing on why. I was like, no, no, nope. Mm -mm. I ain't gonna do no planners. I'm just gonna focus on, you know, my, my Bible study. But I'm glad I for one, I'm glad my spiritual mother pushed me into this because I'm able to make videos for you all. And I'm glad she sent it because I, I needed it. I needed, I like being creative, but I just, I don't have the time for it. But it happened. It, everything's perfect. So I, I am excited. So I'm not going to share exactly how I'm going to use it just yet. I'm just going to show you the, you know, the layout. What I found really, really helped because I am keeping it super simple. Um, I'm not going to do the traditional use a lot of boxes even though I do have some boxes but like the traditional uh, planner flip throughs you know I'm just I'm not going to do that I found washi tape you all washi tape is my best friend and I have tons 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 let me I know chicken nuggets going to get upset with me but let me just show you. Here, Bubba, get down. Get down for one second. Oh, or get up. <laughs> Either way, you could have been careful. All right, so you've seen I have that little baggie of washi tape. And there we come right here. I have that thing of washi tape. I actually have two of those. The other one's on the bookshelf. And then we come up a little bit farther, and I have this whole tub. So this is what I used for my planners. This is the stuff I've had for years and I'm just, I'm not touching any of it. Let me focus, sorry about that. There we go. So this, because those little thin washies, like these right here, these, they're amazing for planners and they add a little bit of color to it. So yeah, that's, that is what I used um, for all of this. And it just, it, it's real simple, but it looks so beautiful. And I want to come back. I did fix that further on. I want, like, I added washi tape to the top and the bottom, not just the inside. Okay, put you back on the tripod here. One second. Okay. Now that I messed everything up. All right, so, and another thing, like right here, I added the further along, because now that I've done it in previous, like throughout the months over here, I see like, oh, wait, Kat, you didn't do these ones. I, I, will, I will come back and add some washi tape on the top and bottom. I just, I like the full page washi, but again, this is something simple, so I, I, I may not. I love the flowers. And I always have the butterfly. Another thing I did, I, a sister sent me a bunch of little kitties. I added, added here. You'll see those too when they pop in. I try to keep with the, the color code of that month. And I used her stickers. The Kella Plan stickers, Heather's stickers. I used all of like her stickers for this book. But further on throughout the months um, these are not her butterflies so I started getting stuff for my stash and uh, putting them in the journal see I don't like this I need to add <laughs> now that's irking me I gotta add more washi tape but and then I started like getting you know stickers and stuff for my stash so I'm going to try to get over the using the cute things right now and then not been able to use them. I'm, I'm trying to get over it. 
I started to use like these little quotes. These are um, stickers. Another sweet sister. A few sisters have sent me. Yeah, so you see how I boxed it in completely? And it's super simple, but that pop of color, it's just so beautiful. Here are these little kitties that I was talking about. This is for February. And it took, it took a long time. And the more that I go through it, you start to see, I started out simple, but then I started just, you know, enjoying it. Enjoying this process, enjoying just, just having fun, being creative. Extra dose of scriptures. So now I don't feel so bad when I'm like, okay, I'm gonna pull out my planner at the beginning of the week. I haven't used it yet, but I'm excited to use it because it's already done. The stress, the headaches, the having to try to figure everything out, all that's done. I can just come in and fill it in. So I am excited. Highly recommend you girls do it too. Just take some time. You don't have to do as many months as I've done, but it, every so often you can say from now until uh, next year, to pick a day whatever day that is pick like an hour or two and then just enjoy filling out your planner that washi tape really 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 helps it really looks good to me I like it and I was going to use these um, I guess the the title page almost as like scripture writing which I still I still may write like my favorite scriptures but I was gonna put like um, the boxes like the color boxes that we use like um, like these ones right here but I figured it would just take up too much room so I was like no I'll just decorate it I may still use these as dashboards put on posty notes and stuff so I see myself doing that already March and the boxes that you see, maybe you'll see one or two, these are birthdays that are in that month. So um, instead of writing out happy birthday, I just put a box there and it, that's what it represents. I love these rings. This little dragonfly, I love those, the blue, I love that. That blue and that gray, I have the other one because it came in a pack of two. I put that other one in my daily driver. And I got real fancy down here and I put some washi tape at the bottom. I like that, I should do that more often. Haven't yet, but <laughs> I should have. Then I had a pack of these words. Uh, I've had these words for, oh, since 2017, maybe even 2016. I've had them for years and I had no place to put them. I didn't know what to do with them. Found the perfect spot. So I just, I went through my stash. So this is where you start seeing like random stickers being, you know, placed. You'll start seeing a little bit more. My birthday month. Here's my birthday. I have plant lady. <laughs> and of course, a little kitten. It's a little kitten in a frog suit. I love these big blooming flowers. Real simple. This one's super simple, but I love it. I'm gonna love it when it's all filled out with nothing but scriptures. Oh, so, so, so exciting. I love this. This is like my favorite one.
another little kitty kitty up there so I just I had the whole sheet of like these bunch of little kitties just adorable I had I put some in some Bibles but I didn't know what to really use with them so you know I was like you know what they're coming in my planner and I was thinking just because it's in my planner I can always go back and flip through and look at it too so it's not like I'm wasting them it just I, I just tell myself if I put that sticker there I'm gonna waste it I'm never gonna look at it but doing it like this I don't know I, I, I like it it really really helped flip my mindset it's better to be placed in a nice book like this look at the washi I love that washi it's better to be placed in a nice book like this than just to continue to be sitting in my drawers and not being used. I'm not a real big fan of this one. This is where I try to use more of the planner stuff, trying to get more of a, like a planner layout, and it completely just, I trashed it. I don't, I don't like this page, which is okay. We will get pages like that. my husband's birthday oh brighten back up there we go we call him wonderful that washi really does an amazing job I just it really just brings in a pop of color not only with like the decorations but they're just it brings that background out in July more little kitties now this is where I start really bringing out um, other other stickers from either other planner packs or um, other things but these you know these are not hers as you can probably tell they're they're not hers love this love 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 those colors are so beautiful the Lord is my shepherd love that sticker and then that little guy I've had him forever in my collection I didn't know where to put them, but he matched these bright flowers perfectly. I'm like, there's your new home. We got August. Having hope will give you courage. And this washi tape, love this little kitty washi tape. Just matched the colors perfectly. Washi tape from my sweet sister Sherry. These cute little kitties. My sweet sister Vicky sent me these. And I don't know if you could tell, but this washi tape has foiling on it. This does too. So that foiling really, really, really looks beautiful. I love this page. Look how beautiful. A love letter. And this one. Put it in a little tab. I will do that more. And then this is where I, I stopped at. I did one page or like the beginning, but this is where I'm stopping, so I'm going to have to continue to work on through. So now you guys get to see what it what it actually looks like. This is the beginning. For my own good, release. And then that's what the blank page looks like. So you see how different, like, that background 
imagine just putting stickers randomly throughout the you know the area that's it but once you put that washi tape you just you see it it really just it pops off and it's so easy to do you just lay it on I may be able to do that I may come back and just do a process video with you all yeah I, I think I think I'll do that I know you guys like process videos so I'll come back through and yeah I'll definitely do that okay that's that's what I'll do I'll do the next for the next page maybe even two pages we'll see we'll see how it goes I know you all you like the process videos so I know a lot of questions will maybe it may be a question I know if I seen the video I'd ask so how do you know when to use like the habit trackers and there's been some goals and this has a there you go a task list check off like how do you know when to use them and my answer you don't you don't know just put it on if it fits I mean that the habit tracker it you can put it with anywhere on the page rather that's Monday or Sunday it doesn't matter where it's at because Monday you can still check it off Sunday you know it doesn't matter what day just place it wherever um, I did it more as a visual like oh it looks cute here um, this spot over here was real empty so I'm gonna put a habit tracker here that's that was always the last thing that was never the first thing I put on whenever I did my layouts the very first thing was was one of these flower boxes and if you noticed going throughout the um, all right that's the first so going throughout the month so there's four weeks I'll place one up here in the right or the left hand corner the next one will be in the bottom right hand corner so they alternated so every page it's different and then I'll put some little random ones back over here on the left I put it there's some still decorations on the opposite side so that's that's how my brain had to work I did it run one right in the middle and it, it really it really helped now at the beginning because I wasn't going to really worry about the planner layout yeah I did so yeah look look at the difference do you see how just only adding the two it still looks pretty but it doesn't look as pretty when it's completely boxed in like that so did I use how many colors did I use I only used two colors I may come in with another color and use that for the top and the bottom because I didn't box in the monthly either that's her actual washi tape yeah it, it looks so much different you all and you can tell how simple it is at the beginning because that's that's how I wanted to do okay so now we're probably going to ask how am I going to use this planner I'm not going to use it as an actual planner where I'm like keeping my um, appointments doctor's appointments and stuff like that you can you can use yours however you want but for mine I'm going to pick out a verse each month so um, not only a verse but like how do I say it? Uh, okay here we go so I'm gonna pick out verses for each month so maybe January it's gonna be over growth because we all want to grow we all want to change we all want to focus on keeping our uh, New Year's resolutions we're always thinking about changing so I'm gonna focus on scriptures throughout that whole month focused on that one word so growth bloom change and every day I'm gonna write out something now let's say um, because there is three different spots I can do the same verse in three different yeah three different translations or I can do three different verses that I haven't worked out yet but there is three different spots but I did use a lot of little boxes so some boxes or some days I only have two spots or it may be a big verse and I'll have to use all the boxes so you just it's not every day is going to be the same which is a plus we don't want to get in a rut come on chicken nugget 
we don't want to get in a rut to where you know everything's the same it's just a habit and we want it to be new fresh and exciting so um, that's that's how I'm gonna do it it's gonna be scripture writing so this is a planner but it's going to be nothing but scripture writing so let's say I don't have really a scripture for that day I could write out still how um, I, I grow let's say da -da, I'm trying to think real fast and it's not coming to me um, I, I could have had like an altercation with with me and my husband and before where I would have argued a little bit more and drug out the argument a little bit more and picked at and did all that and I've noticed hey I, I quit I'm not so much arguing I'm not I don't get angry so you know quickly if some if something like that happened I could write that down like okay I've grown this way I've noticed I'm starting to take accountability for this and this so you could also do that not only write out the scripture but write out how you are using it in your own life and how you're applying it to your daily life so you could do something like that kind of like the soap method you could you could do that for you know your your days your days you could do that all week um, you can also if you're trying to memorize so say you want to memorize a verse every week you can memorize a single verse so write out that verse every single day maybe you want to write it out Monday um, yeah I was gonna do Monday Tuesday and Wednesday but that's not the layout <laughs> maybe you want to write it out Monday Monday morning write it out Monday afternoon write it out Monday evening write it out same verse and you do that all week long so you're constantly writing it out and as you're writing it out you're memorizing it so hopefully by that Sunday you memorized it if not okay let's go to the second week and write it out continue to write it out until you do have it memorized so that's another way you can do it which I, I may do that so that's that's how I'm going to do my planner um, this this year well well no <laughs> this year this is how I'm going to use my planner this year so but I will definitely come back if you all like seeing these videos which I know you do um, the guys I know this may not be really videos for you I, I do apologize but hey it's something you can take to your journals maybe you don't do all the you know you obviously don't do all the girly stuff but the tips that I give you still when it comes to the scriptures I highly recommend still writing them out in your journals some guys even have planners too write them out in your planners every single day write out a verse rather it's a verse the Lord leads on your heart um, maybe you're on an app a Bible app and they give you a daily verse write out that verse just don't read it write it out the more that you're scripture writing you are memory you may feel like you're not memorizing it but you are because you're taking the time to write it out you're taking that extra step that's what's important to our this is our spiritual walk this is what's going to help us grow so we have to we have to be more accountable than just saying oh I, I'm a Christian that's it I go to church on Sundays my hands are done that's all I'm going to give to God we got to build our relationship and building our relationship it takes work like with anybody else relationship between you and your kids relationship between you and your husband all that takes work our relationship with God it is no different you still have to work at it so um yeah that is it I'm going to cut it off here so if you did enjoy it please like this video let me know in the comments below I do love hearing from you all also share and subscribe you all I hit 17k so I greatly, greatly, greatly appreciate all the new subscribers. I love you all to pieces. Um, remember, be a creative tool in our Father's art box. I will talk to you all later. Bye.